Your math teacher wants you to add up all the numbers from 1 to 100. How would you go about doing this? You could always get out your calculator and start typing 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5. But this would take forever. And what if you had to add up all the numbers to 1,000 or 1 million? There must be an easier way. You can actually use Java or any programming language to solve this problem without doing a bunch of work. The tool that we use to solve problems like this is called a loop. And we're going to talk about a specific kind of loop called a while loop in this lesson. The reason we call it a while loop is because it keeps running a certain section of code while the certain condition is true. As soon as the condition becomes false, the loop stops. If the condition was false to begin with, the code inside the while loop never runs and just gets skipped over. There's also another very similar kind of loop called the do while loop. The difference with the do while loop is that it checks the condition after the code section runs. Because of this, the code inside will, a do while loop will always run at least once. What if the loop condition is always true? In that case, we end up with something called an infinite loop, which means the code inside the loop keeps running forever, or until the user or some other factor forces it to stop. Infinite loops are usually a mistake, but sometimes they can be useful for the while loop. The syntax looks like this. This condition could be anything that we would normally put into an if statement, such as variable comparisons or something simpler like this. If you want to make an infinite loop, you can just put the word true and it will run forever. We're going to talk more about this in our next video. See you then. Bye, Supercoders!